47. Rounded to the nearest 10. What I would do is my first step is to figure out what two numbers 47 is in between. Since I'm rounded to the nearest 10, I know that I will have a 40 here and I will have a 50. Then halfway in between is 45. And I know that because the difference between these two, this space right here is worth 10, right? And if we split it in half, that's five and five. So 40, 50, 45 is the middle. Now 47 would fall somewhere over here. So when I round 47 to the nearest 10, I round it to 50 because it's closer to 50 than it is to 40. 246 rounded to the nearest hundred. So I think to myself, how many hundreds do I have in 200? Well, I have 200. I have two of them. So this will be 200. And then what's one more hundred than two? So it'd be three. So 300. Now my halfway point this time, since this space in between these is worth 100, each half would be worth 50 because 50 plus 50 is 100. So my halfway point is 250. And 246 is less than 250, so it'll be somewhere over here. So I would round it down to 200 because 246 is closer to 200 than it is to 300. 7,863. Let's round this to the nearest hundred as well. So I think to myself, how many hundreds do I have in 78,063? Well, I look at my hundred spot and I circle the numbers right here. I have 78 hundreds right here. So 78 hundreds would look like this. And then I think if I had one more hundred, what would that be? Well, that would be 7,900. So now I find the middle point. And again, because the difference of these two numbers is 100, Halfway would be 50 because 50 plus 50 is 100. So halfway would be 7,850. Now I look at my whole number, which is 7,863. And that would be somewhere over here because I know that 7,863 is greater than 7,850. So I would round up to 7,900. I'm running to the nearest thousands. And so I say, okay, how many thousands do I have in 27,462? Well, I have 27 thousands. So 27,000 would be my low one. And then if I had one more thousand, it would be 28,000. And again, my halfway point is what I need to make. So this time, because the difference is 1,000, the difference is 1,000 this time. I have to figure out what this middle number would be. Well, I know that 500 plus 500 equals 1,000. So that means that this middle number has to be 27,500. Okay, that's the middle point. And I know that 27,462 is less than 27,500. So it would be somewhere over here. So I would round down to 27,000. 326,428 routed into the nearest thousand. So how many thousands do I have in this number? I have 326 thousands here. So I have 326,000. And if I had one more thousand, that would be 327,000. And my halfway point 
is 326,500 because 500 is half of 1,000 and that's the difference between these two numbers. So now let's look. My number is 326,428. So I know that this number right here is less than 326,500, so it would be like right here. So I would round down to 326,000. Next up, let's round to the nearest 10,000 this time. I'm rounding to the nearest 10,000. Notice how I underline the place value I'm rounding to. That's very important to do. Okay, and I say, how many 10,000s do I have? So I start at the place value I'm rounding to and I circle all the numbers before it. So I have 18 10,000s, which is the same thing as 180,000. Now, if I had one more 10,000, that would be 190,000. And my midpoint this time, I have a difference not of 1,000, but of 10,000. So half of 10,000 is 5,000. So my middle point is 185,000. Now I look right here and I say 187,246 is in between 185,000 and 190,000. So we'll put it right here, which means it would round up to 190,000. 473,128, rounded to the nearest 10,000. So I say, how many 10,000s do I have? I have 47 of those 10,000s. So 47, 470,000. And then if I had one more 10,000, that would be 480,000. And my midpoint again, because this difference is 10,000 and each half is worth 5,000, my midpoint is 475,000. Now I look at this number and it's 473,128. So it's somewhere over here because it's less than 475,000, which tells me that 473,128 rounds down to 470,000 when rounding to the nearest 10,000. All right, so here's my 100,000s. How many 100,000s do I have in the number 6,382,095? So again, I start with that three and I circle it in all the digits to the left. So I have 6,300,000s, which means I have here 6,000,000. 300,000. And if I had one more 100,000, that would be 6,400,000. And my midpoint this time, this time the difference is 100,000, right? Which means that it takes 50,000 and 50,000 on either half. So my midpoint is 6,350,000. And I can now look and see that 6,382,095 is greater than 6,350,000. So it'll be somewhere over here, which tells me that I should round up to 6,400,000 when rounding 6,382,095 to the nearest 100. Thousand. All right, so we're rounding to the nearest hundred thousand. So how many hundred thousands do I have in one million two hundred sixty three thousand nine hundred eighty three? Well, I have twelve. So twelve hundred thousands looks like one million two hundred thousand. And if I had one more hundred thousand, it would be one million three hundred thousand. And my midpoint this time, because the difference is 100,000, my midpoint is 1,250,000. Because I take the difference right here between these two of 100,000, 
and I split it in half to be 50,000 and 50,000. And that gives me my middle point right here. So now I can look and see 1,263,938 would be somewhere over here, right? Because it's greater than 1,250,000. So because it's over here and it's greater than the halfway point, or even if it was just equal to the halfway point, we would still round it up to 1,300,000 when rounding 1,263,983 to the nearest 100,000.